Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome to video lesson 32, subtraction to 10. So we're going to leave addition behind and uh, start doing some subtraction. And we will do this in uh, three separate installments here, uh, three different lessons, uh, so to speak. Uh, the materials you will need for this lesson uh, pencil and paper, as always, uh, we're doing uh, as we're doing arithmetic, we always need a pencil and paper. And of course, the, the whiteboard, uh, you can add that in if you have one. Uh, counters, and these are our trusty counters from uh, our one of our addition lessons. They're yellow one inch color tiles. I have 10 of them here. And you remember the equal card that we used. And now we have a new card called the minus card, and we'll get into that uh, uh, towards the end of the lesson. All right, so when can you begin subtraction? Well, I would say the best time to begin subtraction is after your child has, has uh, worked with uh, addition up to 10, and he can do addition up to 10 using the counting on method with his fingers. I think at that point uh, he or she will have the concept down well enough where they can begin subtraction. And just like uh, in our addition, uh, our first lesson in addition, I'm going to remind you to tell your child that all numbers stand for something. They represent something. So we're going to start out this lesson with a number story. And uh, you can use my number story or you can make one up yourself uh, as a starting point for uh, your lesson together. And uh, let's see, here's, here's my number story uh, for this lesson. I had six Hershey's Kisses and I gave two of them to my friend Eliza. How many Hershey's Kisses did I have left? And you can tell, tell your child at this point, this, this is what we call a subtraction problem. And you could tell her, remember in addition, we were adding things together and now we're going to be taking away something from another quantity. And uh, of course, in order to, to figure out this problem and find the answer, uh, we need to express it or write it, if you will, in number language. So let's do that right now. I had six Hershey's Kisses and I gave, so I'm taking away, and you can tell him that's called the minus sign. It means take away. And I gave two of them, so you're taking away two to my friend Eliza. How many Hershey's Kisses did I have left? And of course, uh, at this point, your child knows this convention well. That's uh, the equal sign means the same as, and this box here means how many, you, and, and he or she can fill in the answer in that box. Uh, so you might want to do a, a, a few more number stories and uh, switch, uh, let her take the, the lead, 
let her, in fact, uh, let, let him or her make up the number stories, uh, write out the equations until you can see uh, as, the, as the teacher that they really understand what we're doing here. Um, it's no longer addition. We're no longer um, adding quantities together. We're taking one quantity away from another quantity. And of course, remind them that we call this an equation because it has an equal sign in there. Um, so uh, that's, that's how we'll start. And um, in the second part of this lesson, uh, we'll go through uh, working with counters to solve some of these equations. And here we go, let's solve uh, a subtraction equation using our counters here and our cards, our minus and equal cards. And of course, it all starts with a number story and uh, you could make up the number story or you know, maybe your, your child now is really, really getting into things and she wants to make up the number story. So uh, give her assistance uh, any any kind of assistance that she needs to do this, uh, but uh, for our for purposes of our lesson here, I'm going to come up with a number story, and here it is. Sam found five pennies on the sidewalk. He gave three of them to his friend Stella, so right away. Um, you're, you're going to talk with your child about, well, did he, did he uh, find more pennies or did he get rid of some pennies? Did he give them to somebody else? And you, and you can start talking about the difference between addition and subtraction problems. And uh, you will do more of this in the, in the word problem section of the, the early gifted manual, but it's good to get a little start on this. So you can uh, show her that clearly uh, he had five pennies, and he's going to have less than that when he gives three of them away. So he gave three of them to his friend, Stella. How many pennies did he keep for himself? And there's the equal sign in our conventional box where we're going to find out just how many pennies he did keep for himself. Um, how many pennies did he keep for himself? How many pennies did he have left? Maybe that's another way to say it, um, however you want to do it. So there's our equation, and um, uh, hopefully you know you can do a few of these together uh, after this one, but let's, let's work on this one first. Uh, you can have her read it. Five minus three equals how many? And here is the, uh, the method I like to use to, to solve uh, subtraction problems. So um, Sam found five pennies on the sidewalk. Ooh, let's do that the correct way. I'm drawing out of the bank. One, two, three, four, five, and he gave three of them to his friend Stella, so he's losing some of them, giving them away. So we need a minus sign, and how many? Three, one, two, three. I'm gonna move the bank out of the way here so as not to confuse, and um, there's the equal sign. Sam found five pennies on the sidewalk. He gave three of them to his friend Stella. How many pennies did he keep for himself? And initially, here's how you want to teach your child how to solve this problem. This is a very, very good way to, for them to understand the concept of actually what's going on here. Um, you want to take one of the ones that's being taken away, that represents being taken away. And of course, uh, as, as I reminded you in the addition lesson with counters, these represent pennies. Um, so I'll do this. 
I'm going to stack it on one of these and take both of them away and put it in the bank. I'm going to take one from over here, stack it on here, put both of them in the bank. Take one from over here, stack it on here, and put both of them in the bank. I'm going to remove the cards, and there is your answer. How many pennies did he keep for himself? Two. All right, and you know, thinking, now that I'm doing this, uh, you probably could use pennies uh, as counters for this lesson. That would be very direct. Um, but I use these, and, and these will work just fine. All right, once, once your child really understands the concept, then you can simply do it this way, because they'll, they'll after a while, uh, he or she will really uh, become quite uh, familiar with subtraction and what you're actually doing. So once uh, she gets a little more advanced, you can set up the problem like this. You can skip the cards, move those out of the way, set up the five pennies that Sam found on the sidewalk. Um, he gave three of them to his friend Stella so they could merely pick up one to the bank two to the bank, three to the bank, and there we go. We end up, of course, with two. So, but I would go through that first step uh, initially, like I just showed you, because they really do have to make the connection between what's going on uh, with the numbers uh, here and, and the counters. So start out uh, uh, stacking like I showed you, and then you can merely drop out the cards and just take away. And it probably won't take uh, your child too long till he can do that. Uh, so there it is. Um, she's uh, solved the problem, and now she can read it, read this subtraction equation. It is 5 minus 3 equals 2. And of course, uh, like I said a little earlier, do a few more. And if, if you want to uh, have some uh, pre-written problems to do just as a practice sheet, and of course when you do those, you could tell a number story for everyone, but since it's a practice sheet, you really don't have to. And there are two practice sheets uh, for this line subtraction um, that we just did here. And you can find them on the Early Gifted Manual, go to this lesson, Lesson 32, and you will find a reference for those two sheets there.